Hello students! Welcome to Lesson 9 of your Practical Research course. Our topic for today is entitled Writing a Research Paper. You are expected to be able to write a research title. Let us start with the activity. The title of a research paper is the most important element that defines the research study. Put a check on the following research titles. A research title or a research project is a product of real-world observations, dilemmas, wide reading, selective viewing such as television programs, films, documentaries, videos, and many more, meaningful interactions with significant others, and reflection. The title of the research is the research problem or inquiry in a capsule form. Great care must be taken in the formulation of the research title. It must clearly reflect the topic of investigation. It must be original, clear, concise, or specific. A topic is researchable if the knowledge and information about it are supported by evidence that is observable, factual, and logical. Guidelines in choosing a research topic Number 1. Interest in the subject matter. First of all, write or research about a certain topic that you find most interesting. Number 2. Availability of information. When you choose a research topic, there must be a lot of literatures written about it. Number 3. Timeliness and relevance of the topic. It must be relevant and it must be timely. Number 4. Limitations on the subject. You must know the scope of your study. Number five, personal resources. You must have personal resources to be able to gather the data about your research topic. Take note of the research topics to be avoided. Number one, controversial topics. Number two, highly technical subjects. Number three, hard to investigate subjects. Number four, two broad subjects. Number five, two narrow subjects. Number six, vague subjects. In the meantime that you are still students, try to avoid these topics, but once you're an expert researcher, then you can explore on these topics deeper. Sources of research topics. You can use mass media communication or the press. For example, you may read or gather data from newspapers, advertisements, TV shows, radio, films, and many more. You may also read from books, internet, peer-reviewed journals, government publications, for professional periodicals, general periodicals, previous reading assignments in your other subjects. Just make sure to cite your sources and also your work experiences. Some tips in formulating your topic according to Lee, Balena, Pareja, Gushwiko, and Puson in 2014. First, you have to think of a general topic. This should consist of at least two words. For instance, you would like to write a research about emotional intelligence. Number two, think of concepts related to the topic. So, you have emotional intelligence in your mind, then you may want to correlate it with academic achievement. Number three, try to see relationships between the concepts in your topic. You can try formulating questions to lead you into a possible topic. Of course, you have to formulate your research questions after having a topic in your mind. Lastly, formulate a possible research topic. There should be at least two words. Here are illustrations of steps. We have the general topic which is stress at work and then the concepts related to that topic we have responses of men, women, and their coping strategies. And then try to formulate a question which is, how do people respond to stress? And then formulate a possible research topic. The topic is gender responses to workplace stress. Another general topic is television advertisements. Now the concepts related to this are values and culture. To be specific, we have the topic values culture in television ads. Now, you may want to include in your topic your respondents. 
For instance, you would like to study Filipino. So your final possible research topic is Filipino culture and values in television advertisements. You may want to see how Filipino culture and values affect television advertisements. Try constructing a qualitative research title based on the keywords given in the abstraction portion. Let us answer number one. We have the general topic study habits, skills, and attitudes. The concept related to it is parental involvement and online class. Now, my proposed research title for that item is Impact of Parental Involvement on Study Habits, Skills, and Attitudes of Online Class Students. So you can see I added the word impact because there is a relationship that should be shown between parental involvement and how it affects study habits, skills, and attitudes. Now, I figured out that online class is not just concept related to our general topic but the group of respondents, online class students to be specific. The rest of the three items will be easy for you. After that, answer the questions in the part B of the abstraction portion. First question is, what makes a good research title? Second question is, cite three timely interesting topics relevant to your field of study. Lastly, in the application portion, you have to think of at least three proposed research titles and fill in the table with the necessary information. Remember, in the previous lessons, you have chosen already three topics that you find most interesting. You just have to put it there. So under the topic column, the question is, what do you want to study? Right there, your three chosen variables. And then on the second column, your research questions, what do you want to know? You have to formulate research questions on the second column. On the third column, you have to choose your participants or your respondents. Who do you want to study? And then on the last column, you have to figure out your research titles for these three topics. Congratulations for coming up into your three research titles. That's all for lesson number nine. Thank you for watching.